Alright guys, it's your boy Carolina Chris to six. <laughs> you don't see it, but you know it's there. Hey guys, I'm your boy Carolina Chris to six back at you again this week with another one of my comic book hauls for new comic book day, December the 18th, 2019. This is officially the last comic book haul of the year. Uh, I do not believe there is going to be a comic book Wednesday uh, on Christmas Day. If there is, that would be kind of weird because I don't think nobody would show up. But then again, you don't know who you know who knows. But I myself don't plan on going to any comic shop on uh, Christmas Day. So, but I don't know. I have yet to find out. Is there going to be any comics distributed on Christmas Day? I have not found that out yet, guys. Um, but yeah, this week was one heck of a week, guys. Uh, preview. Thick stack of books, guys, right? Very thick stack. Um, I actually had to put back a lot of books, uh, today. Um, uh, like, like Folklore's A and B cover. I was, I only grabbed one copy of the, the, the covers, the A and B covers that I usually get just for a reader copy you know i'm not really into cover buying anymore except here and there i did put suicide squad number one in my box i think it's a matina cover it looked like it was a beautiful b cover because uh, it's written by tom taylor um the annihilation scourge uh with um century on the cover um the revenge of the um uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, uh, it was like quite, it was at least 12 or 13 books I put in my box because my bill was just too high, you know, so I, I think my bill was like 126 or $27, and then I had to get bags and boards, that was another $8, and so I actually got my bill down to $91, so that, that just shows you um, how many books I had to put back, it was quite a bit, you know, so. I got it down, you know, and then when, coming on, when I got home, come to find out I already had bags, so that was just a waste of $8, but now I got plenty of bags, I don't need bags for about another month or two, maybe three, who knows, uh, but yeah, guys, this is the last comic book haul of the year, uh, first off, I want to wish everyone a Merry Merry Christmas, guys, I know we'll be in touch, whether Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube, we'll be in touch even before the new year, so guys, you know, because we're family. We we don't we don't we don't stay away from each other very long. Either I'll be stopping by your channel, checking your videos out, or maybe I'll put out something. You'll stop by mine. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, so let's get to this haul. Why don't we? I have a nice stack of Marvel. Very very little stack of DC, guys. Which is nothing new about that. I don't I don't know what it is about DC. And as you can tell, I did not pick up none of those huge magazine style books. I wanted to get that Wonder Woman so bad, where she's in a coma and she wakes up and the world's been destroyed. I wanted to get it so bad, but I, I, somebody, a lot of people had to get the chopping block today, man. Seriously. I just wish comic book publishers, writer, artists, whoever does the, the billing on these books would give us a deal. I get 20% of my LCS. Thank God for that. But I just wish some of these comic book uh, publishers, instead of putting out a book for six ninety nine or five ninety nine, they just let us get it for three ninety nine. You know, cut us a deal, man. Come on. We're spending money on Christmas, rent, light bills, food, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I spent what I spent at LCS, but as soon as I left, I had to go by the store. I had to get gas. I had to go get food. You know, was, I ended up spending over $150 a day regardless. You know, so anyways, I'm not complaining. I make I make the money either on eBay or, you know, trust me. It's not like I'm going to go broke off of this, but you got to be smart, man. You just Like I say, you hurry, you just because you got money don't mean you got to blow it. You know, I'm not a millionaire. Are you? You know, hey, if you are, man, can I borrow $5? You know, so anyways, guys, let's get to this comic book haul now. First up tonight, guys, we've got Conan Serpent Wars, number two. This is a C cover. This is the Giuseppe Cameron uh, Coyle, uh, Virgin Connecting cover. Writer is Jim Zub. Or Zub. Awesome cover. I can't wait to get them all and connect them together, you know? <clears throat> See, I hate that when I put the book in front of the camera and back off, the light goes different. See? Anyways. Next, we've got the Magnificent Miss Marvel, number 10. This is the A cover, and I know this is a key. Thank God my cousin put one in my box. I'm pretty sure he got three or four for himself, but, you know, hey, I'm cool. You know, at least he thought about me enough to put one in my box. Next, these are some of my favorite. These are pretty much the, my, my favorite X-Men titles that are out right now. First, X-Force, number four, writer Benjamin Percy. 
<clears throat> um, cover art, this is the A cover, is Dustin Weaver and Edgar Delgado, or Gado, I believe is how you say his name. Another one of my favorites, Fallen Angels, number four, writer, Brian Hill, cover art, David Nakayama. Another one of my favorite X-Men titles is Excalibur. This is the Venom Island variant. Writer, Teeny Howard. Another one of my favorite X-Men titles is New Mutants, number four. Writer, Ed Bryson. <clears throat> cover art is Rod Reyes. This is the A cover. <laughs> Next, Guardians of the Galaxy number 12. This is the A cover. This is the Jeff Shaw cover. Writer, Donnie Cates. Dude, I can't wait to read this. I heard this is the final issue. Is this true? Come on now. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, the fact that I'm spending a buttload of money every week, you know, why would I want this to quit? You know what I mean? Because he's going to have another comic book just to take his place. So it's ridiculous. But it's all good. You know, comic books and the spending regardless is some of our guilty pleasures. We deserve it. You know, us as grown-ups, you know. Uh, next, King Thor, number four. Eastside Ribbit, Jason Aaron. This is the final issue, and this is a thick issue. Uh, it's five ninety nine, but you know what? I have no doubt that this is going to be worth it, you know. No doubt. Alright, and last but not least on the Marvel is my three copies of Miles Morales, number 13. Uh, this is the B cover. This is the uh, Raza 2020 variant. Writer, Saladin Ahmed. This is one of my favorite covers. I know everybody was like, why didn't you get the A cover? Well, dude, I didn't see any A covers. I was able to grab a, a C cover, and I got these three B covers. So I got four copies. I'm... I'm cool with that, you know? Totally cool. Now, all of these that I'm showing you right now, I'm reading. Except for the Miss Marvel and the three copies of Miles Morales. And one of these three copies I'm about to show you, I'm reading all these issues that you see. Plus, hold on. DC, guys, we're going into DC now. Um, first up, guys, we've got Doomsday Clock number 12. This is the A cover. This is the Gary Frank regular cover now i will be reading one of these i've got all three covers but i'm only going to be reading one of these so give you a good visual and no no i'm reading all 12 issues because i have yet to read an issue yet so i'm gonna sit down on the top of the stack you see i'm reading these 12 issues so i believe it's something like 29 comics i gotta read but i got plenty of time because our next comic book wednesday will be in january so writer Jeff Johns. Alright, next is the B cover. We got Dr. Manhattan and Superman on the cover. Oh my god. I can't wait. Who, who y'all think is going to win the fight? You probably already know because you probably already read it. I'm not going to find out until I read all 12 issues. So, I mean, you figure it's been, what, three years until the issues? Two, three years? But Next is, that was the C cover. This is the, that was the B cover. This is the C cover. This is the blank variant. And this was the Gary Frank variant cover. Next, we got Joe Hill, Hill House Comics, uh, Black Label, uh, Basket Full of Heads, number three. Kind of excited to read this. <coughs> this is the B cover, and this is the Tula. Uh, Latte uh, variant, I believe. I'm not really sure. L O T A Y. Writer Joe Hill. Well, I like that story. Anything Joe Hill puts out, straight up, I'm loving it. Lolo Woods, number one. Joe Hill, Hill House Comics. Um, this is the Jenny Frizen uh, cover. Uh, writer is Carmen Maria Machado. Machato, I believe, maybe is how you say it. Next, and this is the last DC comic I have. 
Batman Last Night on Earth, book three. Um, I'd had, this is the B cover. I had the A and the B cover, but somebody had to catch the sacrifice. So I put the A cover back, and, and as soon as I did, a customer came in the shop who actually really wanted this title the most, and he got lucky because I had just put mine back. So my sacrifice was somebody else's game, you know. Uh, this is the Raphael Albuquerque cover, writer Scott Snyder. Guys, now we're going into the indies. And first up tonight, guys, we got Folklords, um, number two. This is the Unlocked Retailer variant. Michael Avion uh, Omin. Um, writer is Matt Kent, I believe. This is a great story. Um, I know... Wolf Warner was talking about it was good, and when I showed the video of my first issue, I was like, this book's it's going to suck. I could tell just by looking at the inside. Never judge a book by its cover. I did, and I was wrong, because this story is amazing. Next, that was um, Boom Studios, I believe. Yeah, yeah, okay, Boom Studios. Next, we got A Blaze uh, Comics, Vampire State Building, number three. Uh, I think I... This was the only cover I got. I might have put the other cover in my box, or I might have just gave it to the shop owner, because I gave him a lot of books, told him, like Catwoman. I wasn't feeling Catwoman, so I'm taking it off my pull list. You know, so it is what it, it is, what it is, guys. It is what it is. Uh, a, it's the A cover. Cover artist is Charlie Adler. Writer is Ange and Patrick Renault. Next is Vault Comics, Money Shot, number three. Uh, writer, Tim Seeley. And Sarah BT, BT, I believe is how you say your name. It's, I know I'm killing these names, guys. Trust me. I, you're looking at a guy that didn't complete, didn't even get a high school uh, uh, diploma, so I'm working with what I got. Um, yeah. So Sarah BT, I believe is B E A T T I E. Uh, B T I. Betty. Maybe it's Betty. Yeah, it might be Betty. Sarah Betty? I don't know. That's weird. Uh, drawn by Rebecca Isaacs. Next, Boom Studios, Karen Gillen, Dan Mora cover, Once in Future, number five. It's one of my favorite titles, hands down. No cap. Uh, <clears throat> I can't wait to read this, guys. I totally love this, this, this story here. Next is Heartbeat. Uh, number two, this is the Unlock Retailer variant as well. I had the other cover and I put it back. I might have, I, might, I think I just gave it to the owner and said I didn't even want it because I couldn't, couldn't do it. Uh, but the writer is Maria uh, Lovett. Awesome cover, guys. It's by uh, Paulina uh, Gianaccia. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Last up, guys, is American Genius, The New Messiah, a Mark Millar book. Um, this is the A cover. Jody uh, Muir and Frank Quietly is the cover artist. There was two other covers. There was, like, a black and white and a tan. Had, like, a satanic symbol on the cover, and it was pretty crazy. One of the guys that worked at the shop actually got that cover, and I, I settled for this because it was all I could get, so... That's it, guys. That is it, man. So, um, <laughs> a lot of books, bro. Uh, so, yeah, a um, lot of reading to do in between now and the new year, guys. Uh, uh, how many do y'all have a lot? Of, how many of y'all actually like went way over your budget this week, or was it like kind of uncomfortable, like the amount that books that you had to get this week or what? I know I'm gonna check your videos out for sure. This is the stack of book I have to read. And I got 12 copies of Doomsday Clock. So I got 29 books to read in between now and next year. So, yeah, guys. So, guys, with that being said, I want y'all to have a happy, happy holiday. A Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year. Stay in touch with me because I'm going to stay in touch with you. And also, guys, if you like watching me get my butt kicked on uh, Call of Duty PS4 or whatnot, I got another YouTube channel I started. It's called Carolina Chris PS4. Swing by, subscribe, because I'm probably going to change that name here pretty soon. I thought up something a lot better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I really appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Thanks a lot, man. And um, be safe, man. And uh, 
I know it's kind of a bummer, man, the amount of books that's been having to pick, be picked up these past two weeks. But maybe it'll cool off here, you know? There's just so many hot titles out. I mean, what can you do? You know, what can you do? So, so guys, yeah, take care, guys. Be safe now. Merry, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho! Peace.